Good afternoon and welcome back. Hi everybody, my name is Elizabeth. I am so glad that you're here. Thank you for being here. And so it's very loud in our bedroom right now. I've got this big giant fan on. My husband is mowing right now and I've got Maple right here beside me being a cutie. Being a cutie. Anyway, so today I'm gonna bring you guys along while I work on some things outside. My goals are to power wash um, the back and the other side of our original building and then all the power washing will be done for the building um, but I would also while I have the power washer out I would like to do my plant sand it in preparations to paint it and um, that sink thing that we have outside um, other than that I would like to get around to catching up some weeding in the kitchen garden and the landscape beds around the kitchen garden especially the one like right outside my office window um i want to mention i'm also working on the dining room i'm working on wrapping that up but it's going to be in a video by itself so that will be out soon as well because i'm like almost i've got like one two tasks to do and then decorating finishing touches so that's going to be exciting and I wanted to mention, too, because I've thought about this a lot lately. I watch a lot of, like, interior design videos, decorating, and DIY videos. I love them. And I would love to get our room done. As you can tell, we still have paint samples on the wall. And, like, it's just a whole mishmash vibe in here. Um, but I think I'm going to kind of do our room in two phases. Because I'm looking at it as my office and the bedroom. And I have ideas for what I want to do over in this area for the bedroom. But then I want to do something different here. Um, and I don't want it to feel like super different. But one thing is I'm having real difficulty filming, like doing video calls and just having like this behind me. See, that's no fun. So I think what I'm going to do, which will be a video in itself, but I think I'm going to turn my desk this way so the only thing behind me is this wall so then i can decorate that really cute i can move some furniture um i can still see out my office window but my pc will be you know facing a different way and i think that will really help solve that problem i can't tell you how much that irritates me um yes anyway and yes you can use like filters and blur your background and stuff in zoom but i don't like the way that looks and because of how my chair is so high backed, when I blur my background, for some reason, you can still see parts of my chair and parts of my comforter. It's so weird. There's always like an orange spot there. So people can just tell I'm in my bedroom. So anyways, I don't like that. So um, I don't know when I'll work on that. Probably after our beach vacation because we're running out of time. Now, we did have a random big storm last night. It was so weird. They weren't calling for rain or anything, and I was actually painting the dining room wall. And I just heard, like, wind kick up really bad, and I was like, is that just wind? And so I went to the front of the house to go out the front door, and my husband was beating me out the front door because he was going to see what it was, too. And it was a ton of wind. And for, like, 20 minutes, it was only wind. And then, then come the rain and the storm and all that jazz. But what was so weird about that, you guys? Well, two things. One, that means I've got a lot of debris to clean up out of my garden. But two, when we walked out onto the front porch, it was like a literal swarm of like squash bugs or blister bugs, whatever you call them where you're at. Uh, they eat your crops. They eat, like they decimated a potato crop that I had two years ago overnight. Insane. So they were just all over our porch, all over our furniture porch swing the house i mean they were just everywhere neither one of us had ever seen anything like that so my husband went and got like our insecticide made everybody else go back in the house and he just started spraying everything thankfully though like that afternoon he had sprayed um our gardens again because it had been less than a week since he sprayed like the in-ground garden he got to look at around in my kitchen garden and my kale plants and my brassicas, you know, they get leaves, they get holes in the leaves and it's from a worm. They crawl around underneath and then they eat stuff until there's, I guess, nothing else to eat. Uh, and usually it's cabbage worm that's doing it that gets the brassicas. 
and that's what these look like. He sent me a picture of it yesterday, but it was one of my kale leaves. And when I harvested kale the other day for a recipe I was making, I cut off all of the damaged leaves and I just threw them in the bed thinking like how I normally do. If I'm trimming a plant, I just throw the, you know, dead leaves or whatever in the bed to break down, to decompose. Um, I didn't think about the fact that those holy leaves probably had worms underneath, so they would just move, which they did. So my husband discovered that and um, and was just spraying everything over there yesterday because of all those worms. So when he did that, he did the whole kitchen garden, thank goodness. Because my first thought when we saw all these bugs all over the porch was like, this is probably just part of them and they're probably everywhere. I don't know if it's a migration or what was happening, but like that could have destroyed our gardens overnight. But thankfully everything was sprayed and I think everything is fine this morning, but we'll definitely take a look when we get out there. If I sound a little congested today, bear with me. I'm out of allergy medicine. I'm gonna send Connor to the store here in a few. I'm gonna blow my nose 42,000 times before we head outside. Dang. Golly. Oh my goodness. Oh, some of the soil came out. Oh. Golly, those uh, hosta leaves are getting eat up. That's, but it's grasshoppers. Yeah. Or crickets, whatever those are. I, I guess crickets. You got what? Okay. Goodness gracious. Well, at least the bugs didn't get to this. Huh? I said, at least the bugs didn't get to this. Start eating the leaves. The other one's fine. What, the bugs? <sighs> Mercy. Time for, you wanna take the swing down today, honey? Mm -hmm. Well, you don't like it. And I gotta clean this porch anyway, so it's just gonna be in the way. Got a floaty way over here in the field. This part they let grow up because they cut that back there for hay. I don't want to walk out there. So, uh, my son Connor has discovered the excitement of Timu. <laughs> he downloaded the app and he was looking at stuff for his computer and he's like really excited. Anyways, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean off this porch. My husband took down the swing. I've got some of these, the chlorine things. I need to get those all put by the pool. Our plan is to load the pool with chlorine before we go out of town because we're going to have five days that will be gone and so the pool won't be on. And the last time we went out of town for two days, it was out of chlorine before we went out of town and it was bad when we came back. It took me like five days to get it right. Um, so that's what we're going to try and do and prevent any issues because the lack of chlorine is the biggest issue. But anyway... This is what I need to clean up. I need to walk around with my shears and trim some stuff today also, like a, some some of these, these weird little plants out here. And yeah, so I'm gonna just go ahead and get this clean because this is annoying. We will eventually get some more chairs for here, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna scoot the chairs kind of to the center and get these plants where they're not right at the door probably just rearrange them a bit because one problem we've had is as I water you can see like this dirt and stuff gets back here and that see everything's so close together I can't sweep right there so I'm gonna just rearrange that um, make it better and then the red pot that was here that broke my husband picked up for me this morning and put my plant in this little container because uh, it was still alive so I, 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 I so anyways, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this cleaned up. All right, so I have been getting busy, and boy, is it hot, and there is, like, no breeze today. But let me show you. I weeded and trimmed in this front bed here. 
cats are being so freaking adorable. Every time I pull a weed, they like jump at the weed like they want to go with it. <laughs> um, so here's all the stuff I pulled. I trimmed back this rose here. Oh, and I missed one right there. So see, the rose looks so much bigger because of these weeds right here. Watch this cat. Oh, he didn't do it that time. But see, these guys were all around the rose. So I pulled up all of those and I trimmed it. Look at these cats. Oh my goodness, you guys. Seriously. Oh, they're so freaking adorable, but this is what they do to my plants. Okay, knocked my turtle over. How rude. Put him over here in the corner. He is so cute. You guys, I got this guy at like, I think Walmart. Had him like two years. I love it. Anyways, trimmed all around here, pulled some weeds. I cut this crepe myrtle back because it was hanging in the walkway. And it was blocking this plant from sunlight. This is one that it like falls over every year. <laughs> Kids. Anyways, so it falls over like this. And I think last year I put a pot here. Kids jamming. They're so cute. Living their best life. These are jamming country and not ramp. Oh my god, Ernesto, stop it. <laughs> you are so ridiculous. Get off my plant, buddy. This is what I did with it last year. I'm sure that filming was, you know, amazing. But um, try to kind of contain it. Set it up. I don't know why it flops like that. Well, I guess I shouldn't say that. The first year I put it in, we had another dog. And he would lay right there at the base of it. Anyways, it's really cute. That's not a permanent solution. It looks weird. <sighs> so, this crepe myrtle was hanging right here a lot and it was shading out my new Pop-Tart Hydrangea. So I trimmed it. And um, I trimmed this guy because he was hovering a lot in the walkway. Look at my medicine. Is it Allegra? I don't like Allegra. It's the same thing. Oh, so Tarzan. Perfect, will you just put that in my card on the island? Sure. Thanks. Y'all are cute coming home together. Like, woo woo, both living your best lives. <laughs> you think she was going really slow just because you were behind her? Slow. I know, I think she's doing it just because you were behind her. Or maybe you made her nervous. She said cars make her really nervous. She was going slow before I got behind her. Well, good, yay. Makes me feel better. I got these weeds in here. Oh, oh man, that wasn't just one. Oh, reach it, reach it, reach it. Oh. All right, so see, I trimmed that back. And I was going through picking some of these off because they get pretty messy. Before I said, before I clicked on the button, this Gmu thing said your address might be incorrect. Yeah, that's because our address is like hard to find. And some websites will just always say that. So when I did my first order, it said the same thing. And it's like, it says the fine print. It says if we have problems shipping it to you, we'll contact you or whatever. It's just because they don't acknowledge it, but like the local carriers... No, so it's not a big deal. The local carriers know everyone here. Yeah. Wow, that looks so much better. All right, so here's the porch. Get a tick and then I'm going to <sighs> So. It looks like ass. Shh. That specific area. That's just dirty. I just swept. You want to mop? You want to mop the concrete porch in concrete. this heat? 
That's what I'm saying. Power spread. Power wash it. Oh, but that thing is everywhere. Okay, bye. Bye. <sighs> anyway, so I just moved these plants over here. So when we do eventually get some more chairs, we'll be shifting again. Um, be nice if we had four, but anyway, so plants are here for now. That's here for now. My pillow's gonna go inside. I moved this little black stand out here from inside. This corner still looks the same. I cleaned like the door. I got spider webs down off the ceiling and everything. And then we just shifted this same setup down. That's it. But now at least it is bug free. <laughs> so one thing in relation to the porch I want to mention is I took that purple plant hanging thing down from here because I showed you in a video recently that it looked like it just kept trying to die. So we've just got this pink one and this one over here and they've never gotten really, really big. So I think I fertilized them recently. The other one though I took over into the... I took into the kitchen garden and I sheared it back a lot and um, hung it on one of the arches back there so that it's right there where I'm watering every day. It'll get a little more shade. And I mean, it's doing okay. Can you see it? It's like right there. I think it's fine. Um, but anyways, if it doesn't do better over there, I'll just um, get rid of it. But... Yeah, so just move that there. I'm going to get in the pool to cool off, but also do some cleaning because we had that storm. So I've got to get leaves out of the bottom, off the top, all that. Then I come back and clean up this junk. So I got in the pool and I was cleaning up the leaves and... Is that mascara? Ugh. Anyways, I had to put on the <laughs> had these goggles and try and get leaves out of the pool. And what's funny is my Samsung watch automatically figured out I was exercising and it knows that I'm swimming isn't that crazy anyway so I was diving for leaves I got most of them pool doesn't look too bad now got the vacuum on we had the vacuum out because we take it out on the weekends when the kids are swimming so much <sighs> so I've got it back in um and I'll have to put the ladder up when I get out too so it doesn't get stuck on it I'm gonna have to leave it on for a few hours see if it gets all these leaves I might kind of guide it around a bit to make sure it gets the little tiny leaf particles <laughs> she's trying so hard to be best friends and I think for the most part it works but her paws are so big see she tries to get him be nice he will scratch you your paws your nails are long girl <laughs> He's like, girl, you got some big old paws. Okay, so we've been, my husband and I have been working out here a bit. We got the tomatoes tied up. And we got all these bricks taken up, which is exciting. And then I was going to do the bamboo fence right there. And the little short fence I had that I was going to run along the back, we no longer have. So my husband said, well, why don't you do the bamboo in the back? So I had it laid out to see if it's going to be long enough, and I think it is. So we're going to try and get some T-posts up and get that installed, which will be fun. And then I'm going to weed this area over here. I'm going to cut these back after I harvest the flower pods. Hey, Hadley, will you run inside and get me two of the gallon size Ziploc bags? They're under the kitchen sink in that white organizer thing. They're the big kind. All right, here's the making of the bamboo fence. So I think I'm really gonna like this. It's really just gonna close in the back of the garden. It is like the one I was originally gonna do is only like two feet tall. So it's twice as tall, but I think it's good. And if you can see them T posts sticking up right there, we're gonna cut those down to size. But my husband um, messed up his blade for that the other day. So, we'll have to get one tomorrow to be able to get that taken care of before we go out of town. I love it! So, I'm pulling up all of my broccoli crop because look at how bad these have been decimated by worms. And then we've got 
This one cabbage plant looks okay. We'll get this one. See all the dead worms down in there? Because we sprayed. Like this plant is just a complete goner. So I'm gonna clean this bed up. The only thing that's gonna be left in here is this one cabbage. Rubecchia and then tomatoes are over there. I'll have to figure out something to do in here later Okay, so we got a ton done, but it got hot uh, phone was dying everything else So we didn't film a lot. So I'm probably gonna have to show you the space in the morning because right now fun fact Connor and I are heading an hour away to find a an outdoor dining room set that I thrifted off of Facebook marketplace and I'm so excited you guys I've been looking at new and used sets of outdoor couches and dining room sets for probably two months and um, a lot of times when you see the dining room sets they're either like sold or like scammy not accurate posts so found this set today loved it messaged the guy so we're going to get it at like eight o'clock at night so was like, did you find it and so I just wanted to show you really quickly this is what the bamboo looks like from here you can't see all the way across there so I'll show you in the morning. Well, so we're back. So, so much has happened since that last clip. But anyways, I'm loving the new simplified porch. It feels like there's so much space out here with the chairs spread out. And it looks like this sedum is about to flower, which is gonna be exciting. Anyways, a lot has happened, so I'm going to take you over to the kitchen garden. I've got to, I'm about to leave the house here in a few to go and get a dresser that I thrifted from Facebook Marketplace. It is going to be for finalizing and redoing our master bedroom. Um, but let me show you what we got done over here yesterday. Check out that bin so exciting oh my gosh just look at this it just closes it in i was asking connor i was like hey what do you think about the fence just in general and he said well it gives it like an end you know like a definite end which is what i love and that's what i was telling them yesterday is that it just gives your eye a visual boundary of okay here's the end so i am kind of bummed that there was not enough to come to do here because there was a little excess which we have kind of folded back over here um but the way that that stuff is made is the cord holding it together just oh i've still got to cut these guys off these cords they're just they're just wrapped you see that they're not actually tied, so we were afraid if we just got cut down through here that this would completely unravel, and I think it would. So, this is where the swing is living for now. Took that down. Uh, I still have to work in this area and move these cannas. So, I'm probably just going to like create a bed right here. But anyways, so, loving this. So, I've got to get this in the ground and that in the ground. I've got several different things to do. I did harvest all of my hollyhock over here and I left one arm okay you see I cut the arms off I left one because of that banana spider she just she ain't moving and I thought that's not very nice to just cut that down and where's she gonna go so I'm just kind of hoping she'll move and then I'll cut it I don't know but anyways this is something I'm hoping to work on with you guys today because we took all the bricks up and I feel like this is giving this whole space like a whole new vibe. I also pulled out the glads that the animals kept knocking over um, and had pretty much ruined. So those were all here. Everything behind here is weeds. And these are glads I've had in for a few years and they're okay. But so we're going to be weeding and making over this whole area. And I have an idea about moving my sink over here somewhere where it's flatter because then i realized that we could tie into this water hose a whole lot easier than we could if i left the sink over there because there's water underground here and that's what i was thinking is we just dig up a spot and run a new line um but that would just be harder 
as opposed to this area feels kind of crowded. So I could move that out of there, put a couple plants back there, um, leave the plant stand there, but move this guy over here behind me. So I've just still got to find something to shield this because I see this out my office window. I don't like it. But anyways, so we did go get that patio set last night and I've got to get it out of my truck now. Oh, we also tied up the um, tomatoes on both sides. Oh, and let me show you this. I came through and I pulled out um, all the sad plants. So I think I did show a clip of that, but my phone was like at 3%. So I couldn't even see what I was recording. So I don't know how that turned out. But anyways, they were just eat up so, so bad. And I just wanted to say that that's how the brassica season will end if you do not net them. And I try to remind myself of that every year. <sighs> Sometimes I'm just not great at it. But anyways, I decided to just cut my losses. I pulled all of that. This is a Rebecca flower, um, which is just here temporary. That's a perennial flower. So I'm probably going to do some sort of fall crop in here, but I've not even thought about it yet. While I was being savage with the riddled plants... I came in and I cut these kale back so, so far, you guys. I only left these janky leaves because that's the only three left. Um, and I pulled up one kale entirely. So there were three here, pulled one up, left these two, um, just in hopes that they'll kind of rebound. They just got really super duper attacked. I also pulled my dill that had been done for a while and some lettuce I had in here. That wasn't doing well. So that's freed up a lot of space. And of course, these cucumbers are glorious. Um, so I've got space in three beds now. So that'll be fun to figure out what to do. Oh, what to do. But let's get this uh, patio set out so we can go get the dresser. We've got my sister-in-law's car here. Uh, wow. Oh my God. Just... Wow, just lifting my arm up to fix the flag. I got a sharp pain right here. Right here. Oh, you guys, to put that bamboo fence in, talk about a sweaty bonding moment. That was so hard. My husband and I were doing that together. That's why there was no filming of it, basically. Um, and we have a T-post driller, but we don't know where it is because we've got to organize our buildings. And so I was being kind of impatient and I was like, well, let's just do it now. Uh, Cause I was like, well, is there another way to do it? And he was like, well, he's like, we could use a sledgehammer. <laughs> That's what I did with the last one. I'm like, okay, let's do that. <laughs> so because I knew it was gonna like suck, you know, obviously I was like, I will totally help, you know, I'm not asking you to do a crappy project by yourself. So, um, so I did help. But because the T the T posts are six feet and that fence is only four and that part of the yard is really rocky and not, you know, like moist. You guys, we had to get a ladder. We had to get a ladder <laughs> and stand up on the ladder and use a sledgehammer to put in six T posts. And it was like 47,000 degrees outside. Um, and it was basically one of those moments where you're working hard you're hot there's no wind you feel like your flesh is about to burn off from the sun and you can't see because you're sweating into your eyeballs so he would be on one side of the fence i'd be on the other side even just sitting there putting the cable ties in you guys we were just dripping sweat and i'd look over at him his face is beet red he's sweating from every piece of skin that you can see and i'm like this man loves me so much <laughs> He is so amazing and he is and I know that all the time But it's moments like that where like he could have been chilling in the house in the recliner in the AC at 70 degrees and instead he's outside at in a thousand degrees sweating to death But we got it done, but oh my god. Oh my god took so much Oh, and the last 10 minutes of the project I bailed on him because I went to meet a friend to buy this garden tote Which I'll show you in a second Oh my goodness, look at this, it's so cute. And look, when you finally get something in a space, you can like see how like how that really feels. So we've got several different ideas here. Like I've said for a long time, I wanted to add a couch over here. But if you guys remember, from that last house that we lived at, we had these blue and yellow, uh, how, what would you call them, hammock chairs that hang. 
and they're so awesome they're so comfortable they're fun to like swing in or just sit there and chill um we had those on the back patio over there and here we talked about hanging them like right there so they're just right here by the garden but then we decided that's that wood there is not like thick enough it wouldn't be really a good spot for them so my husband wants to actually just build a frame a wood frame kind of like a tree a swing frame and just put those two chairs on them on it um so he's wanting to do that out here somewhere which there's room and then also he wants to try and find um a swing like an old metal swing set that's just the the metal to put our yellow porch swing on but then he wants to put that over by the fire pit which i think is a great idea We've got six chairs around the fire pit, but we could do the swing on one side and then chairs around. I think that would be great. So that's what we're thinking of. So the two hammock chairs will live over here somewhere on a dedicated stand, but I still have got my eyes on thrifting an outdoor couch, um, coffee table maybe, something. But anyways, I, I'm loving this table. It was very affordable, $65 secondhand, and it was almost brand new. And you can tell, I mean, it looks great. It looks like they had it on their patio for like four months and did nothing with it. Um, it is very simplified, whatever, but I'm I'm good with it. Um, I'll just, you know, dress the tabletop, put something cute on there, some decor, maybe a planter or something. But anyways, um, that'll be great. I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to do mulch before we go on vacation. I would absolutely love it. I'll just have to see how busy my tomorrow is. If I will have a chance to be in town and get some because I do know there are a few things that I need from town um, tomorrow for our trip so I don't know exactly how that's gonna happen two things over here to show you I'm super excited about this is the tote I want that I bailed on my husband on the gar the fence project to go get because this is a I'm sure you guys have heard of them I, they were a big deal a few years ago but it's the company 31 and they do all these different bags and stuff. Well, anyways, I saw this one. It's completely mesh. Look at that. And the way they had it advertised was like it was a gardening tote. So you harvest all your veggies. And then you just bring this bag over by your hose and just hose off all your fresh produce. And then carry it in. How great is that? I love that idea. We use five-gallon buckets, bring them inside, and then we have to clean them off and bring the buckets back outside. I just thought, you know what, maybe that'll save us like a step in a few minutes. So that'd be super. So then I've got one more piece of news to throw on y'all before I head to town. I'm hiding it from you. <laughs> you guys, we did a thing. We bought a new side by side. Oh my God, you guys. So, you know, we had a Honda. Uh, what was it? Honda, Honda, Honda. I can't remember now. We had one that we bought in 2021. We sold it the end of 22. And it was uh, the bench seat in the front. But then from here back was a bed that you could fold up and have two bucket seats in the back. So it had five seats and you had to constantly whatever. So when we bought that one... We got it because I had the big, huge garden over there. I was trying to do the actual, like, grow for market. And I was growing in, you know, over 7,000 square feet. So then we ended up using the bed of that one a ton. But what we actually used it for that we enjoyed the most was riding around as a family. Going to the bottoms, going out there and, and looking at the crop, watching the crops grow and going by the river. Anyways, we had a ton of fun with it. But one, there was a few problems we had with it, and that was that you had to convert the the seats folded up out of the bed of the other one. And so the, so the bed would have been covered because the roof came back. And then when you would get a bunch of junk down in the bed, like, so see, you've got all this debris here. Well, in the other one, the seats would fold up out of this, and then all this junk would fall down in the seats and the floorboard was very annoying another thing too is when we got that other one our youngest was like five so she could sit here in the middle between my husband and I and then our two older kids were back here well she grew up so uh 
she got bigger. <laughs> so she could fit there now, but she'd probably be uncomfortable <laughs> because none of us are skinny. Um, so when we went to go look at one, we decided we wanted one that had three seats and seat belts in the back for all three kids. And so this one is a six seater instead of a five. It's a 2022. We bought it used. One thing I personally fell in love with immediately is the paint color, which we've been using the tar out of this thing, you guys. You can't even imagine. Um, let's see if you can see. It's really reflecting. Yeah, it's reflecting everything. But what it is is it's black with um, the paint flex. It's got glitter all in it, and I'm all about that. Like, every time I see a bass boat going down the highway with all that glittery paint, I just drool all over myself. I love it. So... Anyways, a bigger difference here and the reason we decided to go for this upgrade is this one in particular is the Texas edition. And every time I say Texas, I want to say it like on that movie, Miss Congeniality, when the announcer announces Miss Texas, he's like, Texas. Every time I see that, that's how I want to say it. <laughs> anyway, so this one has, look at how dirty we've already got this thing. We've had this literally three days. Uh, but it has gone miles already. Um, this one had so many built-in cup holders. And when you have kids, that is so convenient. My husband is like, you women and your cup holders. You guys are weird. But so this one sets here. You can slide a drink in there. There's two there. And there's two over there. And then you get back here. And there's two there. There's a built-in inverter. That's pretty rad. You know, to plug in like wall plug-in things. All these seats fold up. And there's storage underneath. Under this passenger seat, there's a hull to uh, like strap in a cooler, which is so cool. There's a cubby here, a cubby here, a cubby here, a cubby there. So many cubbies. Um, this windshield, you can pull this handle here and it goes up and it can stay up. It's got these um, spring things. So you can drive with it up or you can have it down. Our last one did not have a windshield. This one has a built-in Bluetooth speaker hardwired into the battery so we don't have to recharge it. Our last one did not have one, so we installed one, but we had to always take it in and charge it, which we always forgot. So we just often wouldn't have a speaker. Um, it's got lots of like cool little upgrades. Um, and this one has a it has a winch on the front, which that little remote control on the dash was a it's a remote controlled winch. But anyway, super fun. We've had a blast with this thing already. Like just you guys freaking love it we bought it on a friday surprised all the kids with it got home friday evening look how freaking cute that is over there i'm so happy right now just mercy life is wonderful anyway so came home friday evening like literally dropped it off hid it behind the house at like five my husband went and picked up the girls got home I was making dinner and we all started eating and then my husband goes out and he gets a side by side and he pulls it around the front of the house to surprise everyone and they're so excited so we finished eating dinner and then we all went for a ride and we rode in the bottoms for you guys like two hours the sun set there was bugs everywhere it was great we stopped and played with filled corn the kids were so happy um, it was just wonderful. Out of our three youngest kids, one is um, seven. That's our youngest. But then Ella is 15. Connor is 17. Connor has his license. Ella is about to get her permit. And so they, so we decided that when we bought it, we would allow them to drive it with, with, uh, with some guidelines. So they can't leave this road here in front of the house. If they go all the way down there, turn around, and go all the way back that way and turn around, it's like three miles. So they can't leave that, and they can drive in our field. So those are the rules. And so they have been so excited. I swear Ella alone probably put like 15 miles on that thing Saturday and Sunday. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> They've had a blast. We got the dresser. So um, that is great. It's very similar to the one for the dining room kind of like a what do they call that French French something inspired and I'll probably be keeping the original pools but probably spraying them gold anyways I will show you this dresser in detail when I do the bedroom video or videos because that will probably be like a multi video series because I will be starting the bedroom I will be picking up and uh, restarting and finishing the bedroom remodel when we get back from our vacation 
All right, so I'm back out here, and one thing I'm looking forward to, <laughs> Pet's checking out the new table. One thing I'm looking forward to is weeding the area under my bedroom window. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done in this bit because I do have to get to work. Um, but I feel like it's gonna make a big difference. So like, see, just this area alone is the ickiest. So I'm gonna, I don't have my tripod out here and it's honestly too hot to film anyway. Um, so I'm just gonna get to work. I'll show you what I get done. Remember this, remember this. Oh my goodness, look at this. It looks like a whole new bed. And every time I would look at this bed, this is what I would envision in my mind because I knew these plants were in there. But it was so hard to tell from all the grass and weeds. Man, I'm so glad this is done. So, this is great. <laughs> okay, so for some future perspective and with my placement and why I did things the way I did. So, this is a perennial hibiscus that gets to be seven to eight feet tall. So, that'll reach up to the top of the house. You guys have seen the hollyhock flower. It gets really tall. Okay, then we've got this lovely um, perennial here. It's from Proven Winners. I can't remember the name of it, but it's yellow with a brown center. It's so adorable. This is a hostile transplanted from somewhere else that was sick. And it's the only variety, the only one like this, that's this variety that has the little like yellow stripes. There is another variety of a perennial hibiscus they're my favorite flower if you can't tell <laughs> um that we transplanted from the cottage garden and it's just like that one right there so these get really bushy and like the one by the front door so probably four to five feet tall but like big around so i put that here as an afterthought to fill in this area right here's where that sidewalk runs because this used to be the back of the house so right here is where I'm thinking about putting that um, sink. Before I do anything or move anything, I'm going to talk to my husband about it, see what he thinks about hooking the water up from here. Um, but if I do that to get it on like kind of level ground and also cover up the concrete where I can't plant anything anyway, I'm thinking here to there, which means I'd have to move this hosta, which is fine because it could go either there or there, either one. Um, because I did pull out those glads back here the other day, I've got room to just shift that hosta over like two feet. And here's our astilbe that's been in a couple of years. This is the begonia. And there's a tiny one right next to it that looks really sad. So that's two begonias. So there's nothing behind them. And then the concrete from the house starts right about there. So see, I've got that much space. I could just put that hosta there. And these glads, like, I don't know. I guess they need to be planted, grouped together even closer. I'm not really sure what to do with them. I'd probably shift them that way. But anyways, so this is all cleaned up for now. I am so relieved by this. So <sighs> I'm just loving this. This is going to be so great. I think this is all I'm going to get done in this video for today. Because all I'm going to do with this is just rake all this up and dump this over there in our tall grass. Um, I do have two or three more sections in the landscape beds moving forward towards the front of the house that need some weeding, but they're mostly filled up by these shrubs. See that, shrubs? So there's just some, the noise over there. <laughs> Didn't run into any critters other than grasshoppers and that dang banana spider that's still hanging on to that hollyhock. But um, anyway, so there's just like some little tiny weeds under the uh, shrubs over there. It's not really, really bad. And I did that front bed yesterday. And so, um, so yeah, I might come out and do that this evening. That little bit I don't think is worth including in the video. And I'm just so glad to have this cleaned up. And once I get the weeds cleaned up and all this mulch down here you guys it's just gonna be so seamless oh my goodness I'm so excited it's making a big difference so yeah 
So I'm gonna let you guys go for now and I'm going to go rake up my mess and get some other work done today. I wanna thank you for being here. Um, oh, and one of our soon videos, which may be after vacation, I'm not sure, we'll be putting the Colorado blue spruce back there and that purple fountain grass um, in the ground where they set, as well as um, two roses I'm transplanting from the cottage garden. So that will be what's all on that back row there. Anyways, I am so excited. Ah, this is so great. I'm just, I'm so pumped. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this today. Um, I did move this little container here onto the table just for now because it was in the way. So I thought, there you go. There's something for the table. And so just loving this. It's like, it's inching forward, man. Like if you've been here for a while, you probably remember the very first video where I talked about what I wanted to do with this space. You guys, I've got like a thorn. I always pull weeds by hand. I don't like the way gloves feel. And so I have a thorn stuck right there. I think you kind of see that it's like pink. That's from weeding yesterday. I didn't realize until this morning something was stuck under there. But you guys, there's not even a hole. I'm going to have to have my husband cut that out. It hurts now. But anyway, um, but yeah, so if you've been here a while, you probably remember me talking about creating this secondary space back here and just all this. And I just am so excited that so much of it is coming together. Oh, and the mulch is going to be like a big deal. Like I could do the mulch and not have the other furniture and it's going to feel like almost done. It's going to be so great. So anyways, thanks for watching. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are. Stay cool. Hope you're blessed. We love you guys. This is how many weeds that ended up being. See, in comparison to Miss Maple. That is insane. So glad that's done.